What is up YouTube? This is Ronnie of UnlimitedCellPhonePlan.com and today we're taking a closer look at the iPhone 5 for Cricut Wireless. That's right, they're finally broken into the iPhone family. I couldn't be more excited to share this device with you. It is pretty phenomenal. I'm going to tell you all about why. Uh, first of all, this is the only version of the iPhone 5, so in addition to working on the Cricut network, it's got room for a micro SIM card here, so you can use it um, in other countries, other places, uh, that will sell you this micro S um, I'm sorry, micro SIM card. Um, up top you've got the lock unlock button and on the side here you've got volume up, volume down and a small toggle switch which will activate um, uh, rather deactivate or activate um, sound privileges and uh, go to vibrate only mode or it can lock the rotation if you set it in the settings. Uh, down below here we've got the speakers which are absolutely phenomenal for um, a mobile smartphone device and uh, you've got the lightning adapter here which uh, plugs into USB um, or the AC adapter so you can sync or charge your phone um, after you sync it the first time I believe you can wirelessly sync it uh, from then in and of course the 3.5 millimeter traditional um, headphone jack there so let's uh, jump right in you've got uh, quick access to the camera here by flicking that up so you can do um, video as well as pictures really quickly by sliding that up I have it set to take uh, HDR pictures but you can also do panoramas um, it instructs you exactly what to do with your panorama uh, see it's telling me to slow down and um, I'm not going to take the time to do that, I don't really have a big enough space, but it's a pretty phenomenal little um, uh, thing. I'd say it's superior to um, Android's attempt at the um, uh, panorama for now. But um, anyways, I'm going to dive into a little accessory that I found here. It's called the Allo Clip, and what it is is... Uh, basically a little lens adapter that you can throw on your iPhone's camera here and uh, it makes for some really cool pictures so this particular uh, one here I'm using is a wide angle lens so you get a little bit wider field of view uh, this one which is really cool is a, and that's what's called the Allo Clip and this is the fisheye version and this is my favorite one so I'm just gonna throw that on there and now you can take cool fisheye shots uh, using the iPhone's camera. So you can find that at the Apple Store. Uh, really fun little extra. Uh, as you can see, I did get the black version, but I've also got a white version on the AT&T LTE network here. And it is always fun to do comparisons here. So I've loaded um, the speed test app here, the speed test app here. So, so now keep in mind, on the right side, we're on the LTE network, which is 4G. And on the left, we're on Cricket, which is 3G. And um, we're going to see what a difference it makes to be on the LTE network. So 3, 2, 1, start. So they're off to the races here. Um, obviously, there is no contract uh, cricket, but uh, you do see with AT&T we get 22, close to 23 megabits download and 26 megabits upload. That's just unheard of, and um, I mean it's literally faster than my home network. That absolutely phenomenal. But you know, as you may know, with AT&T you don't get unlimited data anymore, and cricket you still can get unlimited data. Uh, although the speeds may be capped, uh, I'm not sure how much that would affect you because they're not that fast to begin with. One megabit download and one uh, close to one megabit upload. Um, now these are very tolerable speeds and in uh, time of the past we might be able to accept those as wonderful, but now when this is available to us, uh, we start to wonder why we were on the Cricut network still. Um, obviously they're working on building up their 4G network, but um, just wanted to present both options to you here so you could see uh, what uh, what might work out best for you. So um, the iPhone 5 in white for AT&T, the iPhone 5 in black for Cricut. Uh, just has a little spec case on it. That's the only difference here. And I'm going to put this away for the rest of the test. Uh, another comparison I wanted to show you is the iPhone 5 next to the Android here. So got the device here and um, so you can check it out um, the screen obviously much larger uh, devices both feel good in the hands and you've got uh, really cool um, uh, little backing to both of them this is plastic whereas this is a, a nice metal feel um, nice cameras on both of them 
uh, but you know the amount of, of um, fluidity and just general cleanness to the apps uh, wins out with iPhone for now. Uh, we'll keep in mind as we test more Android devices in the future, but uh, I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So you got the notification center here. Um, we can tweet out directly from it. So hello world, and as you can see, autocorrect did its job. I'm going to throw up some emojis which is what a lot of people like about the iPhone and we're gonna tweet that out and it's gonna tweet at Cricket Wireless and uh, it's been sent out and let's check out YouTube so we've got our video here LED flash we've got a lock unlock button we've got a 3.5 millimeter it's absolutely here. beautiful here on the, the B5 screen very fluid uh, in switching from different orientations and uh, I mean I would argue that the YouTube app on iPhone works better than the YouTube app on Android devices right now um, will that change in the future? Who knows? So the other reason why a lot of people will invest extra money to buy the iPhone handsets is um, the video game quality on this is absolutely unreal. Uh, this is using the um, the Unreal Engine here. I've got it on mute. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal looking games here. And... Uh, Sorry, I got wrapped up in that one. So, um, you know, Angry Birds loads right up. Super fast, super smooth, absolutely stunning graphics, and just very fluid, and just, it just plain works. You know, there's not much uh, force closing when it comes to iPhones. So, uh, that's great. And the first app I recommend everyone should get on an iPhone is a flashlight app. Um, this comes handy. Uh, there's never a time where you won't need a flashlight in your life, so that's uh, I recommend to get that. Uh, another question a lot of people ask me is, where did you get those emojis you used earlier? So it's real simple. You don't have to get an app for this. You just go Settings, General, scroll all the way to the bottom, hit Keyboard. Typically, you're, if you don't have them yet, you're going to see one keyboard here. So you go here, Add New Keyboard. I'll do it right here. And then find uh, Emoji. It will be there on yours if, unless it's already added, which in case it would appear here. But if you were adding it for the first time, you'd go here, find emoji, you'd click it, and that would be added here. And what that would do for you is it would add, when you're typing something, uh, it would add this little extra world globe down here, and you can add all the great emojis. So that's really cool, and it's free. You don't have to pay for an app for that. A lot of apps try to trick you into buying that one. Um, and of course iBooks here which you can get all the great um, books and um, it's compares comparable with um, uh, the Kindle app but um, a lot of them have cool features uh, little extras like this one for instance uh, will read aloud to you in a special Pepperland. 80, leagues beneath the sea it lay. yeah pretty cool Nice little graphics and stuff. I don't see myself reading on the iPhone very much, um, but it is a cool little feature. Um, fun app here, funny status updates for Facebook. If you can't think of something funny to say, this one, uh, this app in particular is called Funny Status 2 if you're looking for it in the App Store. So let's see what they've added recently. Um, let's say... Marshmallows don't dissolve. They use hot cocoa as a way to teleport to their home world. So I just drag it here. Uh, I have a chance to edit it real quick. And then I can set it as my status and it will automatically update my status with that and make me look like I posted that status. Uh, so I look funny and witty to my friends. It's got a bunch of other cool features such as um, different text arts. Uh, a lot of times you see stuff like this uh, you wonder how people put a tank or a happy birthday or a heart or um, stuff like that. Um, it's also got a bunch of funny pictures in different categories. Um, let's say dogs and it just pulls up these funny pictures and uh, you could just post them directly to your Facebook and uh, it's pretty cool. So. 
I like this app a lot. Once again, it's called Funny Stats 2, available in the App Store. Um, I'll put a link in the video. And uh, I mean, there's not much else to say, guys. It's an iPhone 5, it's on Cricut Wireless, and it's an epic handset. Um, you know, I love me some Android. You guys know that more than anyone else. But uh, I gotta say, the iPhone 5, there's something about it. It's clean, it just plain works. Yeah, it's very expensive, but sometimes you get what you pay for. And this is just an overall polished, great handset. So hit me up with your questions about the iPhone 5 on Cricut Wireless. Um, one last added thing that I want to add is that because it's an iPhone, there's none of the added Cricut bloatware that you get typically with um, other handsets. Apple won't let them put it on here, so you're not stuck with uh, all that other jazz that might be slowing down your device. It works great right out of the box. And um, that's all I got to say, guys. So the iPhone 5 for Cricut Wireless. Hit me up with your questions in the comments section. Uh, check us out at unlimitedcellphoneplan.com. Uh, once again, this is Ronnie. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.